What's going on, people? Okay. Um, it's February. It's the first week of February. But I am here to provide you with a Black History Month service announcement. Now, you may not know anything about me, but it doesn't matter. Just know I'm your uncle that's at every cookout, every family reunion, eating up all the food and talking all the smack and giving all the advice. That's who I am. Okay, so now we're going to get into this Black History Month service announcement so that we all on the same page. All right, let's get into it. Starting with number one. Number one. You can't have a crab in a barrel mentality and then protest with Black Lives Matter. Why? Because this is like fighting two sides of the same fight. Like fighting two opposite sides of the same fight, rather. You can't on one hand want black people to do better, but then you on the same side trying to stop and block your neighbor's opportunities. This means you don't have faith in your brother. You have to trust your brother. When you elevate your brother and you help him succeed, you have to trust that your brother will come back and get you once he gets out of the barrel. That is the only way. If you hold on to your brother and he's trying to get out and he don't pull you out with him, you have to wait until he comes back or until you find your own way. But don't stop him from getting out because you done messed up the whole flow. Maybe he could come back and teach you a thing or two. You understand? All right, let's move into number two then. Number two. <clears throat> and I need everybody to hear this one. Black, white, brown, green, orange, and, and blue. Black businesses and black owned does not mean low quality, ghetto, or discounted price. And I'm going to have to, to explain both sides of the equation when it, it pertains to black people in general. I'm going to speak about it as it relates to black folk in general. We're going to look at both sides of the equation so that we can get it together. On the consumer side, you got to have more faith and more understanding in your black businesses. You still support the beauty supply store that is Asian owned. You still go to that restaurant with the rude hostess. Why can't you support your brother and sister if they make a few mistakes? We all are human. We have entrepreneurship in our blood. That's been in our DNA since the beginning of time. But we have not been going to business classes lately. So we do need a little bit of help and we do need a little bit of understanding. Now, that being said, we got to get on the business side. I'm going to need y'all to stop operating on black people time. You can't have problems with shipping, running out of food, running out of utensils, running out of the basic things that make a business run. As usual, things are already stacked against you. So the mistakes are going to have to be minimized. You have to take pride in your job the same way you do your cars, your sneakers and your material possessions. You want people to take your business serious, then you need to act like a serious business. Now let's move on. Number three, and this one's very important. You need to know yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, my skin is brown and my distant relative and neighbors did not come from this island. But that is besides the point. We are all foreigners here and we have been told a lot of lies. We are continuously and continuously will be told a lot of lies. So it is very important that you know yourself. You cannot be upset with someone else for fooling you because you didn't know yourself. When you know better, the water flow better. That's all I can say. Now moving along to number four. We, you, everybody needs to stick together. Now, I don't mean to be the dead horse, but for my brothers and sisters that did not hear or understand correctly the first thing that I spoke about, it is vitally important for your kids and your kids' kids and further to learn the functionality of sticking together. I don't have to like you, but I must respect you and treat you as my brother because we all we got. You see... This not sticking together thing goes all the way back to slavery. It is in our DNA. And this is the template for having broken homes, 
when you don't have no mother and father. Anything other than that is a broken home and can produce some mental issues and some emotional issues. But guess what? A lot of us, if not all of us, come from some sort of broken family. And that's no excuse for not knowing how to stick together. You can't pick your family, etc., etc., but every ethnicity gets it. The Hispanics get it. The Asians get it. The Spaniards get it. The Muslims and Indians get it. Even the Africans get it. But the African American, the black American, he does not get the importance of sticking together. Moving along. Number five, and I want y'all to follow me on this one. Respect the elders and guide the youth. Now, I know a lot of y'all don't understand the principle that history really repeats itself. But your elders are the closest things to see in the future because they have been around long enough to see a lot of changes. Back in my day being a little whippersnapper, we used to have a certain level of respect for our elders, even when we was doing our shit. Nowadays, that's non-existent. If you are a human that has lived through wars, oppressions, unfair economic conditions, etc., etc., wouldn't you have a little chip on your shoulder too? The elders are supposed to help guide young adults to make better choices than they did. This then needs to be passed on to the youth. You got youngers out there trying to live way too fast. You have so much life to live. Social media is not the real world. Let's move on. Now, this last one here is definitely not least on the list, and it may offend some people, but that's okay. My intent in my heart is made a go. We need more heroes and not just entertainers. I'm going to say it one more time so we can get on the same page. We need more heroes and not entertainers. Now, this is important because everything we do is interconnected. We can't expect the youth to have common sense if their leaders are only entertainers, athletes, and rappers. I like this now, one. there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with doing that as your profession. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with entertaining, rapping, making a few bars or whatever you got to do. But present day, who do kids have to look up to as leaders? Huh? Who do kids have to look up to as heroes? What? Don't worry. I'll, I'll wait until you can come back to some better answers. There are no leaders that are helping them balance the destruction that comes with just being young and dumb. We all go through the young and dumb phase. But the difference is the older generations had leaders. They had people to guide them. These younger generations have no more leaders. I'm not even going to get into the music and all that drug stuff that they do. But... We need more lawyers, we need more activists, we need more speakers, more mentors for our youth. Remember, if the youth is the future, look at where the future is headed. And if the future fails, we all have a helping hand in its destruction. So once again, I thank you guys for listening to this public service announcement. And I'll see you soon. It's your Uncle Cleanest signing out. I got it. Uh, so you do it for the love? Oh, you trying to get the fame? You say she just like your first, but what of your twin flame? We from different hoods, playing the same game. A little old, a little wiser, make you realize we're the same. You talking to the man in the mirror. Could be you, could be me, but is your soul at peace with what your eyes can't see? I'm talking principle and standards, ideology and manners. I'm a stand up guy, never thought to live slanted. And even if I tried, I just couldn't do it. Cause karma kicked my ass and left my eyes leaking fluid. Yep, I bet you knew it. It was written in your heart. Don't go swimming in the ocean with no knowledge of the shark.